I want to remind, wow, I want to remind you, Miss Laurie and Mr. Jeff were with us in Paris. We, could, we went to St. Regis Cafe. They didn't have any tables, remember? And suddenly this man comes, the waiter, he's a head waiter now. And where, what, he was from India, if I remember right. And uh, he saw me. He said, I'm, I have a table for me. And he brought us in and he reminded us. He said, the last time you hear you, you spoke about who I was. You spoke about my name. I've never forgotten it. I say our tongues, that when we release our words, are never forgotten. It produces impact that changes people's lives. And he told me, he says, you know, I'm in this position as, a, as one of the top waiters here, not one of the main waiters. And he said this, he said, it's very difficult for people from my country to show up in a foreign country like France and get out of the kitchen washing dishes to get into this position. I said, well, your name, God has his hand on you. Everywhere I go, I tell people, God is with us right now. I'll never forget that little girl. We were at, in front of the Sabon University in the Place de la Sabon at that restaurant. We went there, I wasn't supposed to go there. We just showed up. We were somewhere else doing con consulting work with a school, we showed up. And this waitress, it's her first day. Oh, it's your first day. First day, first day. Ask her her name, I told her what it meant. Next thing you know, I find out she's from Iran. I said, my dean, the dean that I worked for at the university, I was the director of the Anglo-American Law Degree Program. My dean is from Iran. And she was saying how her daddy, you no, know, her grandfather was on an airplane. No, her daddy was on an airplane with this ladies who was a professor. This ladies daddy was on the plane to and he just happened to be talking and next thing you know the the daddy of the dean knew the grandfather i mean it was a big connection i said that's my dean she said no couldn't be i said yeah she says she said well, what's her name i said dean family she said that's not the name i said well what's her first name she said oh i know her first name i said roxana yeah that's it I said, it's the same person. I said, God designed me to come talk to you today. I said, this is supernatural. What do you want to do with your life? I want to, I want to make films. I said, you want to make a film? She said, yeah, right down the road, right there. Look, I'm working at Mamata Sorbonne and I'm working at the theater right there. I said, I, I, I wish next time I want you to start filming. I said, that's it. We're going to do a movie right now. Okay, take, take one. Bam. And I began, I said, we're now in a movie. And I looked at her and started giving her my testimony of the night I got saved. Now this is a waitress, she's taking our order. And I'm just telling her the night I got saved and you could see tears starting to come in her eyes. She said, she, she's thinking it's a movie, you know? She said, is this real? I said, it is real. I knew it was real. I said, you need to make my movie. I'm telling you, that girl will never forget what we prayed with her that night. Ask God to touch her. Oh, yeah, maybe she was Muslim, I don't know. But I was coming with the gospel of Jesus Christ that loves everybody, even Muslims. He loves everybody, even atheists. People once asked me, how can you go to that country that's full of atheists? I said, yeah, look at the wonderful harvest field God sent me. A whole world of unbelievers. Wow. Most people say, I ain't going there. Nobody believes. God, if there's nobody that believes, send me there. You've given me a powerful words of miracle, raising from the dead miracles in Jesus' name to see salvation and redemption in front of my eyes. I release that to us, everyone in here. I'm expecting miracles redemptions, healings, where we're, we speak also to our own bodies. Sometimes, you know, your body's saying, uh, no. 
you're sick, you're dying, you're, you're crippled, you can't walk, you can't talk. No, that's not my destiny. I tell myself, that's not my destiny. Well, it, it, it's everybody. No. Whosoever believes will have what he says. What happens when you start feeling? I speak to it. I said, you got to get out the way. I speak to I speak by, to my nerves, nerve endings. I speak to bones. I speak to joints, tendons. We do this every night. We speak to tendons. We speak to ligaments. We speak to tissues. We speak to our brains. In the name of Jesus, come alive. We release miracle working power over our bodies. We have a destiny to fulfill. And God, your word said that you would give us a long life and satisfy it. would be a satisfying life. Well, I'm, I'm not satisfied. I'm still living in Jesus' name. God's given me a long life. I'm, I'm going to live to over 100. I used to say 120. Now I say 120 plus. I believe that. Yeah, but what if it looks like? I don't care what it looks like. I'm saying it with my words. I'm, I'm deciding my future. God gave me a blesser. I bless myself. I bless my family. I bless my, the, all of you. I bless the, what God's given me a new word. For, I'm not going to say it today, but a new word for all my, all the people under our covenant. Oh, it's a good word. Abraham had those words. He said, can you see them? <laughs> can you count them? <laughs> oh yeah, Lord. Yeah, well, you're the father of all those people. Dr. James Maloney said, you are now, Deborah, a mother. Jules, you're now a father of many generations. I believe it. I believe it. We're going to produce generations of believers down to a thousand generations and beyond. And we're not leaving until we finish. How many times I said the devil can't kill me when it looks like I was going to die at that moment because I was going to be killed. No. God, if you want me to die a martyr, if you want me to sacrifice as a martyr, I'll willingly give my life. But the devil's not taking it. No, can't kill me. If the devil could kill you, he would have. But he couldn't because God wouldn't let him. And we're saying over you, you're not going anywhere until God is finished with you and you're ready to leave. Can you say amen? And we don't have to leave sick. We don't have to leave sick. We can live the way God wants us to live. And when we leave, we just leave. I release that to all of us, God. 